Hi, this is Adam with PhotoNerdUnite.com and today I want to address a very common question. Do I or do I not need to save my images inside of Lightroom? Here we are inside of Lightroom. I've got an image up and I've already made a bunch of adjustments to this photograph. Here's the before and here's the after. Now if you're new to Lightroom, chances are that you've already gone ahead and jumped inside of Lightroom and gone to the develop module with a photograph and started making changes to it. Now comes the question, since I've made adjustments to this photograph, what do I do next? Do I need to save it? Do I not need to save it? But before I go ahead and answer that question, I want to show you one thing that's going to tie this all together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the photo that I have here and I'm going to say show in finder. If you're a PC user, you could do the same thing by saying show and explore. Basically what this does is take me directly to my hard drive to this photograph specifically so that I can see it. If I were to go ahead and open up this photograph, the one that's on my hard drive right now, you can see that no adjustments have been made to this file. It's exactly how it came out of the camera. Nothing has been done to it. So hold on a second, I'm confused. On one hand you're saying you've made adjustments to the photograph. On the other hand you're saying no adjustments have been made. Please clarify. So let me do that. I have made adjustments to this photograph, but all of the adjustments only live inside of Lightroom. If you look in my history panel, you can see all of the adjustments that I've made, but none of these adjustments take effect until you export the file out. And that's where we're going with the changes. If I don't want to do anything with this picture, or if I have further edits that I want to do to it, Later on down the line, there's really no need for me to save this image. However, if I was done with the file and I'm ready to do something further with it, say send it to a friend or print it, then I'm going to need to export this picture out so that all of the changes get saved with the file. I say again, all of the changes that I've made only live inside of Lightroom until you export those changes out to a separate file. For that reason, it's important that I throw up a quick disclaimer. It's most likely that the more that you start playing around in Lightroom, you're going to make a lot of changes to a lot of photographs, none of which you're going to export out. So you're going to have a catalog with a lot of information that isn't saved anywhere else. It is imperative that you take time to save your Lightroom catalog to a separate hard drive in the event that the main hard drive where your catalog lives, if something were to happen, you actually have a secondary copy of your Lightroom catalog. If you don't do this, you could be losing a lot of adjustments that haven't been saved and therefore you may feel the need to start all over. Let's get back to saving this file. What we need to do is go to the library module and then all the way down in the bottom left hand corner click the export button. Once we get to the export button we're going to choose burn a full size JPEG. We're going to decide where we want to put this JPEG. I recommend that we export it to the same folder where the original lives at which time you can decide that you want, may want to put this in a sub folder, maybe call it edits, navigate down to the next option where we have the chance to rename this file. I would go in and choose edit and decide to give it some sort of specific editing name and then hit done. It's not a video so that doesn't apply. File settings, we're going to just change this to make sure that the quality is 100%. We're not going to resize it if we don't need and we're not going to sharpen it. Basically everything else at this point is done. Now we're going to click export. You'll see up in the left hand corner that the export file is in fact going through. There you have it, now it's done. And so what I can do is right click on the file, show in finder, it's going to take me to where the original is. And if I scroll all the way down, you will see that I have a folder named edits. If I click on that folder, there's the photograph with the edits. So now I have the best of both worlds. I have the original file that's untouched so I can edit it again another time, maybe when I learn some new techniques or something like that. And I have the actual edited file that I've applied adjustments to now. Hopefully this clarifies the should I or should I not save my adjustments after they're done question. So now you can move on to bigger and better things. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, show your support by subscribing to our channel. And that's it for today. We'll catch you in the next episode.